What is going on YouTube? It's your guy Lawrence and today I'm putting out a video on the phone I use as my daily driver and it is the iPhone 8 Plus. I was using Note 8 as my daily driver but I just recently switched back to the iPhone 8 Plus because it's something that's always drawing me back to the iPhone or iOS and it's the fluidity and you know with the iPhone there is very very little lag as opposed to certain Android phones um, Android phones have gotten a lot better I'm an Android fan I'm an Android guy I love Android I love the customizations and everything you can do on Android and the reason why I, I always switch back and forth is because just looking at this home screen all the time after a while it just gets very boring and you want something different you want something what apps aren't so cluttered together or more spacious and just something better even though these are all together on here it just looks different a little bit more spacious than it does on the iPhone but the iPhone is just a great phone um, and like I said very little lag the first thing I noticed when I switched back to the A plus was the how smooth it was the Note 8 it, it's not a slouch it's you know it's not a bad phone but every now and then I get you know a little bit more lag than normal with the iPhone I barely no joke barely got lag and I, I believe that's why a lot of people switch from Android back to iOS is because of the fluidity and the software a lot of people use iMessage. I personally don't use iMessage right now. I do. I just am lazy to turn it on. And FaceTime. FaceTime is a, a great feature. Yeah, you got Google Duo or Facebook or whatever you use for the um, video chat. But it's just always nice having something built in like FaceTime. And that's something Android need to do. Android need to make their own FaceTime. I guess you could say Google Duo, but something that's built in into Android automatically. Um... That's a pretty cool feature, and with the iPhone, the iPhone, um, I can just trust the camera. Yeah, it may produce a lot of noise in certain images or uh, overexpose things, but if it comes down to it, to any phone that I'm confident to pull out when kind of recording or taking a photo, it'll be the iPhone. The iPhone is something that can replace your current camera without you bringing your camera. The Note 8. It's a great phone as well, when it phone camera as well, but it has its flaws. The iPhone has its flaws too, but between the two, I would much rather prefer to use the iPhone for more true to life color, more realistic, white balance, etc. No, a great camera as well too, so don't turn let that turn you away. But the iPhone is better, in my opinion. Better front camera, better rear camera. And uh, I love the size of it. Yeah, the bezels on here may be pretty thick, pretty big. But for some reason, I'm not bothered by the iPhone's bezels like that. Actually, I'm kind of spoiled about it. Since having, since using the Note 8 and its uh, bezel-less display, or very thin bezels, I have been noticing the um, the bezels around the iPhone, but it hasn't been bothersome. It hasn't been bothersome at all. I guess because I'm just used to uh, the iPhone like this. I had to know uh, iPhone 10, the return to iPhone 10. Got that iPhone 8 Plus because I need something a little bit more bigger. The iPhone 10 was just a little too small for me. But definitely, Apple does great with the CPU. And I like the fact of, even though it's kind of a rip-off, I like the fact of how they can have a great CPU and only use 3 gigabytes of RAM or 2 gigabytes of RAM and still make the phone better than an Android phone that has 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, or even 8 gigabytes of RAM. That's, that's great. I just wish in the future tense they use a higher, more RAM, like, like the competition. 4 gigabytes of RAM. No, Apple, they probably won't use 6 gigabytes of RAM until like 5 years from now. But how they can do it so well with just a limited amount of RAM, but great software optimization, 
That's that's great. That's awesome. I love Android. I'm just waiting for that Android device to take me away from using the iOS, the iPhone. And let's be real, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever is better on the iPhone because it's made for the iPhone. I just, you know, hope that uh, future Android phone, I hope that the essential phone, the essential next generation phone can perform better than the competition. The Note 8 is a great phone. And if you had a choice right now to upgrade between the two, that's, that's a tough decision. Because if you're an Android fan, I'd say get, I say get the Note 8. Or the, the Pixel 2 is okay. Uh, I actually kind of want it again. <laughs> but anyway, I say get the Note 8. But now, now that you got the S9 coming out, it'd probably be best to hold off and get the S9 because you're getting the latest and greatest specs. Snapdragon 845, etc. Um, the S9 Plus, I believe, is coming with dual cameras. Uh, better see, uh, fingerprint sensor location. I'm not bothered by the fingerprint reader on the Note 8 because my hand, I'm left-handed, so it's just naturally easy for me, I guess. But it doesn't bother me. I, at least it has one. iPhone 10 doesn't. And if you're going for the iPhone route, that's a tough decision. Either get the A plus or get the iPhone 10. iPhone 10 is a new design, just a tad bit small. So the great design, not really worth the money. Get the A plus, but the A plus is outdated. 1080p screen, still a gorgeous display, but compared to the Note 8, this has more pixels. This is much much more sharper. So um, definitely, if you want to look in the upgrade right now. It's between the A Plus or the Note 8, or even iPhone 10. But these are two that I have. And so, you know, let me know in the comment section what's your, what phone do you use as your daily driver? Peace.